What is going on, guys? Trey is coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today I wanted to come at you with the prize highlights video. But I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently this time, guys. Um, one thing I wanted to let you guys know is that I'm going to start splitting these prize highlight videos up every week for the simple fact that they can become quite lengthy. And I know you guys, as myself as well as you guys, we all have lives to live and other things to do. So I don't want you looking at some 20, 30 minute video of mine that is just way too long. So what I'm deciding to do is I'm just going to start breaking these videos up and making them that much shorter. So you can, you know, if you got a little second to watch this video, then great. Take out the time, watch it, enjoy it, um, like it, favorite it and everything else. And then um, move on with the rest of your day, guys. So um, I'm doing this with you guys in mind. Um, if you don't think this is a good idea, um, you can leave it in the comments if you're willing to do so. But if not, then um, I'm just going to stick stick with everything rolling this way. So to take a look at our quick gear here, our hot relics, we got the Coxcomb cap that gives 737 wisdom with no ability. Um, any piece of gear without an ability besides the any Seri Axe is not good. Um, to my knowledge, I haven't seen really anything besides that axe that is worth it without an ability. So um, just do your utmost to try to upgrade it to the Henny's hat here. Um, that is when this thing becomes worthwhile, guys. You get 1,168 uh, wisdom, rather, um, and an opportunity or a chance to proc fly the leap which is a water skill so um i don't know if that's the zero of five or is that the five of five we don't know yet harpy's horde is not unlocked so we don't know what's going on with that but i'm pretty confident that henny's hat will be our harpy's horde piece of gear for this dungeon event so um try to get through harpy's horde and get it if you can now um, the next thing we have is the small fry shield which gives 409 defense once again with no skill um, just like I said before guys the axe is the only piece of gear um, to date that I can think of that is worth it without a skill every other piece of gear I have not seen it to be worth it so um, just try to get that thing upgraded into your big fish buckler and then it becomes a pretty decent piece of gear guys 976 defense with a chance to proc repay adept which is a counter attack skill um, it basically counter attacks the fighter that hits it with a special skill So if they use their cooldown skill and it doesn't kill them then they will counter attack the fighter that used the skill So that's a pretty good piece of gear right there guys and that's a substantial amount of defense So um, if you can get your hands on it go ahead and give it a shot. It's pretty nice guys And then we get into our heroes The first of which we have here Lamqua so to break Lamp Quad down, it is an Air Rogue. Um, to talk about its off edge stats, it has 2,685 HP, 4,086 attack, 1,395 defense, 840 wisdom, and 4,236 agility. The skill is going to be preempt elite. It is auto proc, so it does not have to wait for a cooldown. It is going to use it every single turn that you swipe it. Now, Lamqua has a total stat point base of 13,242, which is a pretty nice amount. But um, I really like this guy's look. I think it has a really incredible look. And this is a um, pretty nice preempt, too, guys, especially for one that is not required as a four star fighter one of the more harder dungeon fighters to acquire on um, Lamqua is not that it's actually only able to be acquired in three star which surprises me because this is a pretty nice preempt fighter guys actually so um with the high attack and the high agility guys you can pretty much turn this preempt fighter into whatever you want to do with it you can Super fuse it with speed if you want it to be faster than other preemptors, or you can super fuse it with attack and just make it really, really strong, or you can do a mixture of both, make it a little bit faster, make it hit a little bit harder, and just do whatever you want. This is a pretty versatile preempt, guys. So, 
Um, and it's on the easy side of the dungeon event this time around. So there's going to be a large number of them floating around. So um, if you want this guy, I know I'm definitely going to be going for it. So um, anyone who's thinking of getting rid of it, you can definitely uh, hit me up in the comments or private message me, kick me, whatever you want to do. But I am definitely going to be looking to five for five this thing at least once. So um, anyone who's willing to sell, give me a shout. I may be able to buy this thing for you because I am definitely going for it. Um, it's a pretty good fighter we have here, guys. So I really like Lamqua. Um, just to do a quick comparison, we are going to take ourselves over to the trade board because this is where we can do a quick look up um the reason i do this guys is i don't i'm not sure if everyone knows fighters by their name so the only reason i do this is to show you exactly which fighter i'm talking about when i'm doing my little comparison here so um i want to compare him to vivina who is a very antique yet well respected fighter even down to this day so let's break down vivina a little bit and then we'll do the comparison here um vivina is also an air rope stat base 2856 hp 4341 attack 1482 defense 892 wisdom and 4503 agility preempt elite auto proc and total stats of 14074 so we're going to be comparing this one to Lamqua guys and to be honest Vivina is the better fighter in every category guys in every which way They're both air rogues. They're both pre elite and they're both auto proc So they're all equal in that department But when it comes down to the statistics Vivina is better because she has 171 more HP 255 more attack 87 more defense 52 more wisdom and 267 more agility than Lamqua with a total stat difference of 832. So if you were able to acquire Vivina a while back, it is definitely worth keeping. Um, Lamqua is not the better fighter, but Lamqua is also not off by much, guys. Um, 832 total stats off is really not that significant. Um, Vivina is still the better fighter, yes, but Lamqua is just a smidget behind, guys. So, um, if you don't have Vivina and you are looking for a single target preamp, I highly, highly, highly recommend Lamqua. Um, that is a pretty nice fighter for sure, guys. So, I don't even think there's any Vivinas up right now. That's oh, yep, there's one, one up, five for five, two hundred ten bidders. If you want to get your hands on that one. It must have just went up. So as you can see, Vivina is a scarce fighter at this point, guys. So um, Lamqua is going to be very numerous upon it being able to be traded. So keep your eyes open if you want a good single target preempt. Lamqua is not a bad option, guys. So um, that's all we're going to do today, guys. Like I said, I'm going to divide these videos up to keep them rather short because I like to go into a lot of detail on these fighters, guys. Uh, I don't just want to give you a surface information i'd like to get down dig deep into these fighters so um i'm going to start breaking these videos up to keep them shorter for you so um, we're going to stop right here for now guys this is going to be part one of the joker's wild prize highlights so i hope you enjoyed it please continue to like subscribe favorite share comment and everything else and we'll be back with more parts soon guys because we got some really decent fighters in this dungeon event so stay tuned for more thanks for watching guys later